just any crazy. It is a uh, to put it into words, it's like the feeling of what you feel when dreams come true. Like that is a real that's the best way I can describe it because it's something you dream of and, and then it happens exactly there's only one way it can happen. You either win a Grammy or you don't. So um, I won two and so it was like two dreams coming I just like a dream come true after one after the other and um, it was it was amazing. It was an amazing feeling. I had my family there, my team, you know, um, it was it was really overwhelming. Still up there on cloud nine. I refuse what, to come down. What was it like when you when you walked into the room to take the pictures? Because we all have to go. Joe, see the pictures of people holding the Grammys. Mm -hmm. He had the two Grammys mm -hmm. there. What was that like? Because that's sort of iconic. Um, it is. It's it's wild, and you, you know, like you think about it forever in history, and it's it's funny because I've seen, I've seen. There's two different ones. There's like an official one that's uh, not the ones that people see out in the public, um, and then there's the ones with all the Grammy uh, symbols in the background. The ones with the Grammy symbols in the background where you walk in front of press. You actually see my face where I'm kind of like, oh, I have two Grammys. I don't know what to do. Where do I stand? How do I pose with them? Um, and there's some real cool candid shots, but it's honest. Do you have a favorite song on your album? Everyone says, I love all my songs, but is there a favorite? Um, my favorite, favorite, favorite song on the album is Wrong Side of Love Song. What's that about? Um, it's about being on the wrong side of a love song. <laughs> um, it is my favorite record because uh, it is a true story. It is, I think, my best writing to date, my best vocal performance to date. Um, and I think that it's one of those records that when I did it and how it came about, it came out so naturally. Jack Splash produced it. We were in the studio. We had worked on six other songs. And at the last 30 minutes of our session, we had to go because I had a flight to catch. Uh, he said, hey, I, I've got this other track, you can tell me about it all throughout the, the session. And in the last 30 minutes, he's like, Yo, let me play it for you. And he played it, and I was so moved that I went in the booth and freestyled this song down, basically, and then just came out and filled in the words after. Um, but what you hear in the vocal on the track is, a lot of it is the reference that I did. I didn't really go back and do, change much of it. And um, I think it's my favorite record because I'm very proud of it. And I think that it's the most emotional record on the album. that song and freestyled the, those words and that melody and that pain when I didn't really recognize that maybe I was in that pain. Maybe subconsciously I did. Um, but uh, Did it help you get over the pain? Sing it? Uh, at the time it didn't. Now it does. Yeah. Now it does. Because it's real now. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't it suck when you, when you get hurt in a relationship? It's the worst. It is the worst. Yeah. It is the worst. I... It's the worst. Um, but it's the best yeah. because it's the moments that make you stronger. Yeah. It's the moments that write great records. It's the moments that people need to hear and and know that there's they're not the only ones going through it. And um, it can't get any worse. What do you think will happen when you get to a point in your career where you cannot keep your personal life private, where there's always eyes on you and there's always attention on you and paparazzi following every single where you go? I, I actually personally think that that is, uh, it's actually achievable. Yeah. I do. I don't think that you ever have to be the type of artist unless you welcome that in mm -hmm. to be the paparazzi is chasing you living outside your house and X, Y, Z. Um, you see it. There are certain stars you never see in the papers all never, the time. Ever. ever. Yeah. They have kids. They have lives. You know who their husbands and wives are, but there's a respect for that and mm -hmm. it's not publicized. And then there are artists and, and celebrities out there that welcome that publicity and they set it up and they make it happen and I will be on the other side that chooses to yeah. not promote my personal life. It's going to get out there. It's not anything I'm going to be ashamed of. It's not anything I'm going to, you know, uh, deny. 
but uh, I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs>